Hey guys, you're watching Pixel Mencha, and right now I'm playing the Witcher 3 Blood and Wine expansion, which came out yesterday, and I'm really enjoying it so far. It is gorgeous, as you can see, um, and very large. Uh, this is a, you know, an actual expansion pack, something we don't really see much of uh, these days with the very small DLC. Um, it is actually called an expansion, and rightly so. It's highly detailed, uh, an entirely new story, um, just like the first expansion, only way more content. There's supposedly 90 quests, and uh, as you know, in The Witcher, they're not, you know, just go and collect or go and kill, and that's it, you know. Uh, they're, they branch off into crazy things that you don't expect and there's lots of dialogue so very impressive uh, and yeah it's just very vibrant and colorful and beautiful it's a nice change from the first expansion which was pretty depressing and dark and I loved it uh, it was I actually really really enjoyed that expansion um, but it's still nice to have this afterwards and I think CD Projekt Red uh, realized that so, um, you know, there's definitely some dark stuff going on here, though, and things aren't what they seem. I'll just say that much, um, which is pretty obvious from the trailers. Uh, but I'm not that far into it. I'm maybe like three hours into it. Uh, I've been taking my time, just kind of walking around like you see me do now. Um, really enjoying the scenery and just seeing what I can find, listening to NPCs. And I'm running this on high settings, in case you guys are wondering, uh, except uh, NVIDIA Hairworks has been turned off entirely because it really eats at my performance. The game runs pretty well without Fraps running uh, to record with, but it can get stuttery, and that's because of my old CPU. I'm using a 2008 CPU, uh, believe it or not. I can't remember which one it is, but uh, the card is a NVIDIA GeForce GTX 960 4 gigabyte edition. So the card is much more recent, and that's why I'm able to play games like this. But yeah, my old, old 2008 CPU is holding up quite well, I would say. They have also recorded all new music, and... Uh, a lot of the side quests have been really funny so far. I think it's going to surprise a lot of you guys if you are looking uh, at buying this game. And you've played the rest of the content from the base game and the first expansion. You're going to be in for a treat. I definitely laughed out loud at a number of the quests. Uh, but I don't want to spoil anything for you guys. This is definitely something to enjoy, especially for 20 bucks. I mean, you got to be kidding me, right? 20 bucks. This is how it's done. CD Projekt Red. I mean, I can't say enough great things about them. You know, and they've also completely overhauled the UI. Uh, I'll go ahead and show you that. It's a lot different now. Everything is much more streamlined and categorized and makes more sense. You can actually go to your character and spin him around. You can look at the stats a lot easier. The map has changed and we can go ahead and see an overview of this quite large area. Already got some undiscovered locations dotting the map. There's going to be a whole lot more than that. <laughs> and yeah, uh, here's the new uh, weapon wheel, I guess, item wheel. Um, so that's changed a little bit. Still has the slow-mo effect. And here we have a different time of the day, just to show you guys the sky beauty of this expansion. Really amazing colors. Stars are coming out. It is 8, 19 p.m. It's 
So, Blood and Wine. Check it out if you like The Witcher 3. I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up. Um, and I'm going to be playing the hell out of this. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you next time.